In this week's Two Minute Terrain tutorial, we're going to show you our fastest, most economical method of making hedgerows. But by the end of this video, we'll actually discuss four techniques you can use for hedgerows in any scale from 6mm to 28mm, including my personal favorite method. But before we get to that, I want to spend most of our time talking about our cheap, quick approach. For our epic Overlord war game, we needed a huge amount of bocage for a 12 foot long tabletop. To produce this much terrain, we devised a very simple technique. You start with a pack of these cheap Scotch-Brite scrubbing pads used for household cleaning. Conveniently, they come in a dark green color. Then you'll want to cut the pads into strips. Ours are fairly thin for a 6mm game, but we use this method for 10mm and 15mm hedgerows by cutting wider sections. Next, take a hot glue gun and assemble various patterns. You can use whatever shapes you want since ours were designed for a grid-based war game with 4 inch squares like you see here. Once your hedgerow sections are glued, take them outside for a quick dusting of green spray paint. Pick a lighter shade of green to give the Scotch-Brite pad some added dimension and color. This last step is optional, but we wanted to dress up our tiny hedgerows with some Woodland Scenics clump foliage. I used a hot glue gun to add bits of foliage here and there, representing patches of trees or taller growth. It's that easy! This is one of the cheapest, easiest methods that you can use to produce a huge quantity of terrain, but there are other methods that we've done in the club. Keith made these fantastic 28mm hedgerows by gluing large chunks of Woodland Scenics clump foliage onto balsa wood strips. The way he based these looks incredible, but is obviously much more time consuming to build. My favorite method for making fields in smaller scales is to take a piece of scrap fabric and hot glue gun bits of clump foliage around the perimeter. You can even assemble multiple pieces of fabric to create larger, more unique sections. A fourth technique we've used is hot gluing clump foliage onto thin felt strips like this. The advantage here is that you can bend the strips to follow along any roads, rivers, or contours on your tabletop, making them very modular and useful. Well there you have it folks, four different methods for modeling hedgerows in multiple scales. And if you'd like to learn some more about other terrain tutorial tricks, go ahead and click over here. And don't forget to subscribe to the world's best historical gaming club.